hello lovelies welcome back to the channel so today we're doing a recipe video guys so uh i made more more in this video and i just wanted to take you guys along so as you can see i started by washing off the leaves that i got from the market they were really quite dry and dirty so i started to wash them yeah so removing every dust every um glimpse of um sand and all that so we don't have sand in our moi moi so guys uh i hope you enjoy watching this video please subscribe like and share so these are all the leaves that i was going to be i didn't use everything because we're just for uh the measurement was milk those like a um, thin cup of milk so i'm using four cups of beans I initially got in three but my husband was like it won't be enough so i added one more cup so it was four cups and we're just going to be making this more and more today with four cups of beans so guys i'm going to show you guys a quick trick on how i wash my beans in less than 15 minutes i don't pick the beans i wash them directly you know growing up we used to see our mom soak beans and to take forever i feel like saturdays in my home beef in my my mom's place was so dreadful for me because i hated to wash beans so i found a fast and easy way so that's what i'm showing you here if you can see me now i'm rubbing the beans on both hands i didn't have to soak them just pour it on the bowl pour water into it and just start scrubbing it together with your hands and you will see the skin the skin of the beans will just start coming off immediately it doesn't take like so i'll just go over doing this over and over and over and over again till you know a <laughs> till everything is just gonna come off guys i feel like what well, i remember when i put up that vlog where i did that car everybody was just shouting say ah pretty how did you do this thing this is how i did it man this is how i done did it it's not a difficult something it's so easy so guys you can see that all the pinning so i'm just gonna filter this i'm just gonna filter this with my my plastic filter and i'll do this over and over again till i have my beans sparkling clean the truth is that after doing this you will see that even when you blend your beans it's not it's not hard for the people that are helping because we take our beans to the, i don't have that uh gengen blender in my house so i take it to the local place where they blend beans and it's easy for them to blend as well because the beans is not soaked you know so at this point the beans was almost clean as you guys can see it didn't take me up to it wasn't up to 15 minutes this thing was ready so yeah so guys voila can you see how the beans is looking all sparkling clean so there are still a few beans and blackheads in the beans i just removed them removed them and you know yes that's one of it i removed i just used my hand to pick them you know finishing touch and this is how the beans looked when i was done sparkling clean smooth ready to be grinded ready to get down you know <laughs> so i'm packing it into a bowl here where it was my husband who helped me to go and blend it because i had to do other things in the kitchen before he came back this was dinner for us and i wanted it to be as fast as possible so we shared the duties so here is another thing again i feel like a lot of people when they make their moe moe so this is shombo shombo is those red pepper without um it's not it's not hot so yes i use this one the shambo i use the um onions two ball of onions and then i added just three pieces of tomatoes just for the taste of tomatoes you know so i blended this after blending it i okay so i washed it and blended it and then i put it on the fire because you know that mama will cook fast because it's on the wrap you know with all the heat so i like to cook my tomatoes and whatever i'm using before i put it inside the bean so this is my crayfish my granite oil my ghee and salt for taste so here i'm just putting like you guys saw i'm putting the um, paste that i've made which is the shambo tomatoes and pepper yeah so i'm just i just put it in i'm putting all my ingredients here now so my crayfish went in 
this is the red sweet 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 crayfish i use this one i don't know the other name for it we call it ekba here and then the regular small crayfish already grinded my son doesn't like to taste uh, doesn't like to bite crayfish in his food so yeah so i, I grinded it then three cubes of maggi i used one no and two star then i'm just gonna add uh, my salt yes to taste I try as much because I'm going to be using corned beef and not with a lot of salt because you guys know that corned beef already has salt inside. So I I reduced it and I also I'm not eating a lot of spicy food right now. Yeah, so that's me putting in the granite oil because you don't you want it to be um, the granite oil to be enough because you don't want it to stick on your leaf. If the granite oil is not enough, by the time you're scooping it when it's cooked, you will notice that it's sticking on your leaf. So I boiled hot water. This is another trick again. Don't use cold water. Use boiled water to mix it more and more. It makes it cook fast as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, I didn't use cold water. It's the hot boiled water that I use to mix it and then I'm going to just stir everything together to give us a very nice mix so that all our ingredients go in already guys can you see how this is looking so beautiful so yummy so you know you guys see I don't even give myself enough credit I'm such an amazing I'm such an amazing chef yes <laughs> So yeah, so this is me just stirring and stirring. I'm gonna add a bit of water again because I don't want it to be too thick. I don't like my mommy strong. Yeah, so I added some more water. So the consistency, you want it to be um, at an average. You don't want it too light. You don't want it too thick as well. I said you like very strong, solid, solid, that giddy kind of hair. I, mean, I don't like my mommy like that. I like it super soft and nice yeah so this is the consistency now i'm putting in the corned beef like i told you guys before that's why i didn't put so much salt but if you're someone who likes your food super super spicy you can go ahead to use as much salt as you want uh usually what i used to so i used to have like i used to sell more and more before i traveled and came back again so usually when i'm doing my mom for sale i use the spoon to measure but this is my house own so i just wanted it scattered like every scoop you have um corned beef inside so i didn't i didn't use the spoon to scoop it inside i just scattered everything directly in the bowl mashed it together you know who we'll have a little baby in the house i just tried to make the food so enjoyable for him so now this is another trick why your mom leaves you so tear so you need to try as much as possible turn it to the back and break this back um hard stick at the back yes this is it you need to remove it if you don't remove it your mommy will not sit where the leaves with here yeah so as you can see it's now very soft and ready to take your so i did it again basically for all of them i removed them like this just bend it it's like um a three quarter into the leaf yeah so put it like so two together because you need it to be like a cone mouth you need the leaves to look like a cone um shape so yeah i'm just gonna fold it like so guys this thing is really tricky if you don't get it right your mama is going to leak everywhere it's good to pour and it's been so long i didn't wear my but this came out so amazing and just fold the tip right there can you see can you see how that's sitting so nicely so yeah so now you're gonna scoop into it as much as you want but not too much else it's going to be so difficult for you to cover it yeah so i put in two scoops and a little pinch in there yeah so wrap it like that yes and fold to the back that's it guys that is how to wrap my mind like a pro <gasps> oh yes it came out so right i'm just gonna place it on the pot yeah so see how it's sitting pretty over there yes so i did it like that for all of them all all of them i think we got about about 15 wraps from this four cups of my my 15 wraps yes that's all we got yeah so fold it again like this be careful don't be in a hurry and then at the edge 
you want to flip it backwards yes like so at the tip hold it right there bend it over and yes that's it then you fill it in with the moi moi again just fill it in don't put too much so two scoops and just a little three so this one because this one was big when we went to the market they didn't have so much uh, it was the last bunch of leaves that i actually got they didn't have so much so yeah so just wrap it up there and flip it to the back that's it so i just finished up off camera and i did the remaining wraps off camera and then we put the food on the fire so yeah we're done here wrapping i'm just gonna take two more leaves to cover up the pot so the heat is intense you know so that it will cook very well you know nobody wants to eat raw moi moi guys so here i i went in to put water into the pot usually there are sticks you are supposed to put on that but i didn't buy them with the sticks yeah so i'm going to put it on the fire now put it on the fire then i'm going to cover it up and bring this to a boil i left my momo on fire for 45 minutes i like it very cooked i don't know if yours will cook less than that but mine cooked for 45 guys 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 so this was testing time <laughs> i'm telling you people that this food was so good this food was so good this food was so good guys <laughs> So yeah, can you see how it is? It looks really nice. It's not messy. It didn't spill over. If you get your mama, um, your moi moi wrapping very well, you will see that your mama will come out really. And the ground oil was much. If you can see, it's not sticking to the leaf. The ground oil was enough. Not like it's going to be overly oily, but everything moderation is key now. So it came out nice. And guys, see how red is looking. Yeah, it's the shambo magic. See, see, oh, fru fru. <laughs> I did cook. Oh. I'm a very good cook, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. We had this with Pop. <laughs> it was so good. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up drop a comment and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. love and light prudence at pinnacle